I'm Josh Village Customs. Uh, we showed you how to chop this truck. We did a whole thing on it, and now we're gonna show you how to do the floors. Uh, why not? What we've done, we've cut, oh well, there was no floor, but we cut most of uh, the little remnants out and stuff like that. And then we centered up the cab, we tacked the door shut, so I'm stuck in here while Aaron's outside cutting my metal for me. What we did is take some one by two 14 gauge steel here, box tubing. We made a slight bend in it to hug the outside of the door, so that we're gonna make a nice little lip on the door edge when we're done. I've spaced it. We know that we have a, uh, we are gonna be putting a three inch frame under, underneath of this and then stepping it up with a four inch piece. So I've taken two inch, spaced it from the floor. We're just working off the floor here, nothing special. So we've spaced it here and then we have a piece of one by two. So then, you know, that'll make for three inches of frame. And then we're gonna come across off of this piece with one by one all the way across and make a floor off of that. So anyways, we'll get to it and we'll show you how we do this stuff. So what I'm doing right now, I'm welding our flats into our A pillar and then the flat back here to the B pillar. That'll keep our nice strength here since we have no rocker panel, we have no anything, and we want all of our rat rods to lay doors on the ground. So we're going to strengthen these so that when we go to open the door, the whole cab doesn't go all to hell. You know that nothing welds better than 70-year-old rusted metal. Gotta love it. All right, so what we've already done, we've got the uh, one by two on the sides, got in our main structure there, so the doors, the, so the A and B pillars don't, don't split. Now we're gonna start going our cross beams across here, and I'm gonna take one by one up to the top lip of this. Once again, we're doing a two by three inch uh, frame on the bottom, so we want this to be three inches off the ground so that the body will sit nice and flat on top of the frame. What we're also doing here is we're making a nice level deck so that when we, when we go to put the floor in, you don't have a bunch of lumps and a bunch of stuff. You want nice flat panels. Keeping anything flat or square is way easier than trying to make three dimensions, making curves and everything. We're just trying to make nice and level plane so it's easy to put the sheet metal in. We're putting uh, center supports in. We're basically gonna put a bunch of these in all the way up. Then when we go to set the cab in over top of the transmission, We'll measure out the transmission so we know exactly where it's at, where it is, and then we'll cut out what we already put in. Uh, it'll all make sense when we get there. Right now we're just doing some floor structure. Going. So basic little uh, helpful hint to this, make sure that you are doing this with a friend. Uh, Aaron is out there cutting as I'm stuck in this truck. Obviously the doors are welded shut so they hold all the structure, but as he's cutting these, I'm welding in, I'm taking a measurement and telling him to cut. You can fly through these floors. I mean, we've been out here, what, 25 minutes at the very most. We're almost done already with the main structure. Now, once we go to fit it to the truck and put the motor in and all that stuff, obviously we're gonna be cutting this out to fit over top of the things. But the game with Rat Rod is to try to get as much seating room as possible because these things are tiny. I mean, this is not a, not a big car. I mean, this is the top and I'm just barely on my knees. Um, so, I mean, you're really trying to get as much possible seating room out of the tiniest car. So you really want everything to stay tight. So it's easier to fit it from where you know your transmission is instead of just like guessing it in there. If you end up with like an extra inch and a half between the transmission and the tunnel, that's an inch and a half you don't have for your feet. So, you know, there's not a whole lot of foot room for these pedals when the engine and transmission are sitting in the car with you. Little helpful hints. We're gonna keep getting this done. Try to wrap it up here in about 15 minutes. already and we're basically done tonight we've put all our floor structure in it'll be super easy to just pop sheet metal right down on this it'll just go straight across obviously we'll just kind of smooth everything out and make it nice and flush uh when we put this on the, the truck and the frame with the motor and transmission we'll end up cutting out the center section but we'll do that after we put a tunnel or the, the bottom section of the tunnel in basically you'll put one piece down take some out put one piece down take some out and eventually you'll build the whole tunnel over everything Flat sheet metal, super, super easy. 
Um, and once again, it goes on a three inch frame, two by three, and it'll lay flat on the ground, flat door on the ground. So anyways, hope this helped someone. I uh, already had a couple messages from Instagram saying that they were doing floors and their rat rods and didn't know the easiest way. This is the easiest way I've ever found. It's how I do all of them now. Super simple. We have a whole hour in this, less than an hour, and we're basically finished. So hope it helped you. Thank <laughs> you.